Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. That's Walter Keller. That's Flying Rich. Today on the channel, we're going to be talking about 5.7 handguns. We're going to compare three of them, right? So we've got a PSA Rock, and we've got a Ruger 57, and we have the original FN 5.7. We're going to take a look at those three guns, see how they shoot. Are they cross compatible? All that kind of stuff we might even throw in a little bit of shooting with some other 5.7 stuff that's out there let's get all into it right now so what do you guys think what thoughts shooting all three guns you go first I so believe it or not I think the only thing that had a problem eating and feeding basically mm -hmm. was the FN 5.7 which was kind of weird whoa uh, stovepipe stovepipe Second one. Uh, I think we had we had one hiccup with the with my rock. Uh huh. Right. So that's what we shot first, and I had a stovepipe with the rock. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Whose rock is that? That, mine? Was a, that was the last round. Yeah, that looks like mine. Okay. That was the last round. But I think that was ammo based. Yeah. I'm just gonna say that because I think we had we ran into some stuff with with ammo. That was a last round in in the first mag. I did that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we definitely did have that, and I'll, you guys will see that when we do it. Um, go ahead, Rich. And, and on the PSA, I don't have an optic on it, and I really want mm -hmm. to get an optic on it, just because I got old eyes. I can either okay. see the sight. This is your PSA part. right here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I think I did better Or with the PSA. higher sights, obviously. Yeah. You like the PSA? I, I did like the PSA. Um, well, I think, Walt, you probably PSA fits thoughts. in my hand better. Okay. The, the mm -hmm. PSA and the Ruger have a smaller grip frame. The, I mean, I don't have a little hand, but the FN is, that's a honking ass big. Yeah, that has a. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it, I get it, but this for me fits better. And it's got a different, a little bit different in the back here. I can wrap, get more, more around it, more the meat around it, so to speak. But yeah, is that the rock you're holding right there? Yeah, yeah I think so. And when we shot the paper, I did better with this one, open sights than, the, than all the other ones. Yeah. So. PSA rock. And you're the mid, where are you, the bottom? I'm the bottom. Two. Okay. Let's see what happens. You know, for as chaotic, <laughs> I'm impressed. Uh, some of them are in the can. Well, you know that would have been a that would have been one of these. <laughs> be out so, were you always were you shooting only here, or you, you I was went over there deliberately? I was going boom, boom. I was going between the two of them. Okay. Yeah. But I've got a nice the ones that did All hit right, the. So that, that's some of the shots there too. Yeah. Yeah, Walt. All right. So in one side, out the other. Clearly. Okay. So. Out the other. All right. Go for it. All right. Let's see. So I guess I got that area. Yeah. Uh, you didn't have a bunch of flyers like Walter. Oh. 
<laughs> I, I didn't pierce the can. <laughs> Look at the precision on that side over. Look at that. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, that is true, Walt. You did. You know, sometimes you were doing it right. Okay. I think I got more of the green though. Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna go for this one and let's see with the rock. Let's see how that looks. Let's see. Rock and roll. Yeah. I said I did. I think I did similar to Rich. Well, I, I actually hit the bullseye the once. Let's see. One, two, three, four, <laughs> oh, five, count. six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I beat you by one. Three. Okay. My time is coming. Uh, Rich, I don't think did you hit. The 11? You don't. Wait, you wait, didn't wait. hit inside here one, once, Rich. Eight, Look one, at that. Two, three, That's minus I mean, ten. I'm in that right bit. That's Eight, plus ten. ten. I know, no, you, you got, actually got twelve because I didn't count that one in the bullseye. You, you beat me by two. There you go. One, two. That oh looks, well. That okay. Looks like one, three. Okay. That's four, five, six, seven, <laughs> eight, nine, ten. Okay. All right. So, Eleven, twelve. Yeah. I don't know why you were shooting over here, but we're gonna switch over, and then we're all gonna okay. shoot this side. You see that? You we're gonna. That right there. You see we're gonna shoot this side with the Ruger five seven. All right. Ruger five seven. With a red dot. With a red dot and some nice blue tip uh, FN ammo. I'm aiming for that bottom corner on this side. Let's see yep. what I can do. See what I can do. I gotta compete with these other guys here. is paying a high price. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Not as real as I thought, but... I mean, you know, you, you got a lot of rounds in there. I should have marked the barrel to see if you... <laughs> Those are from before. <laughs> if you want right, to see the barrel, you got a lot in there. You got to look at the back of the barrel for me. Look at that, man. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Impressive. You really opened it up back here. That's impressive. So that is more difficult for Walt because... Hey, look at your look at your roll of tape. Oh, wow. That you were cussing. That's getting tagged It up. wouldn't come off, so he was pissed off. So. Yeah. That's right. That's a dead roll of tape. It <laughs> failed me. Okay. <laughs> so... We're gonna reset this and Rich is gonna go for this one. Alright. Alright, go for it, Rich. You definitely did better with your red dot. Definitely. Yeah, I got that's two right there. That's three or four right there. Yeah, that's at least that's three. That's pretty no good. More red dot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you even put some on my paper, so we're gonna have yeah, to mark so that. that. Counts for you. <laughs> I mean, seriously, Rich, come on. Oh, what? See. Mark One, that two, off of me, Walt. Three, four, right here. Five, this is all Rich. That's like oh. Nine, ten. None nine, of that four, is me. I think I got twelve in there. Uh, did you get one here too? Come on, man. All right. <laughs> Too much coffee. There we go. All right, let's see. Rich is already down there yeah, judging me. Oh yeah. Damn it! Damn! Yeah. That's a nice tight group. Yeah, that's a nice, nice powder. Tight group. Tight. 
Nice. But I didn't hit the bullseye, not once. Uh, That's right, I did get one in there. I got two of them on the bullseye. I think I'm going to take some of Rich's. Yeah, you should. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So that's cool. So that. So now we're gonna put. We're gonna reset this whole paper, and we'll try out a, the actual original FN 57. So I think how it fits in your hand is a big thing, right, Rich? And I think if we look at these two, we could see that the uh, the Ruger has like a more straight. Is this more like uh, I don't know? Is this more 1911? I don't know. It does have a, it does have just a very straight uh, grip on it, yep. whereas the rock does have this little bit of a swell here, very and similar. even like a, a little finger groove. This has a similar feel to the dagger. Now, PSA's yeah. dagger. Yeah. Yeah. The the five seven FN five seven mm -hmm. and the Ruger mm -hmm. have a very similar barrel, and they're both hammer fired, where the Palmetto ah, is striker, striker fired. Uh, yeah. And this grip, like like Walt was talking about the uh, the grip of this, it is it's it's a it's a little bit wider. It does have some aggressive texturing here, but it's, yeah, it's, it's wider and longer. It's, yeah, it's definitely bigger all the way around. Yeah, so I think I would agree. You you agree that you're more you are more accurate with the rock, right? The rock. You guys, yeah. yeah. Yeah, um, I think that this just fit better in the hand, and that's why we had that accuracy. I think if people look at us shooting the actual FN 5.7, I think the issue there was basically a uh, sight picture. FN 5.7, real FN 5.7. Here we go. You're low, Walt. Yeah, well, I've got the... You've been hammering the can. Oh. <laughs> oh, you made it mad. That was shrapnel just yeah, now. that was well, shrapnel from the can. Okay, yeah. you got the dot in there, and then I put the... The, the green dot on top of it, and obviously that wasn't it. It must have been yeah, low. Yeah, what does, uh, Rich has the same setup, right? Yeah, I think mine... Once I came up a little bit, I started getting into the green, but... Oh, so it's too low? Yeah. I think it's too low, man. Yeah, it might, it we, might we be too to low. Let's, let's walk up there. He hit here... The spall, and it just spalled. Yeah, went through, that so. was... But there are serious holes in there. He's though. got the FN57 shotgun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we should circle these holes so we know which one Walter put in. We should have. <laughs> People have to go back and look at the video, but yeah. So you were kind of low there, which could be, I don't, I never adjusted those sights. Did you have to adjust yours? No, the, my FN like I've said, never adjusted, but it seems I had the, the post and the thing here like that. And then mm -hmm. when I moved up, it started to come into yeah. the. Yeah, so. I think the hold on that is up. Okay. You got to hold it above the the post. So do you want to no do, do over on yours? To, yeah. You try mine? There's no do-overs. No do-overs? No okay. No do-overs. All right. All right, All right Rich. Ready? Go for it. We're good, eyes and ears, and I gotta find where this goes. That was high. That was high? Yeah. Not sure where that went. I can't see where they're going. Up that slow. Oh, you're going for the right middle? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Uh, stovepipe. Stovepipe. Second Better. one. Better one more stovepipe. Do I get another round? Am I shooting all Walter's target? It looks like you're a little low. Let's go in. Hold on. <laughs> oh, bad. Uh, I got three. We may have to. We may have to try. We may have to try <laughs> Rich's. You're over because, here, probably. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. That FN might be off, but I'm gonna Ooh. shoot the same gun. And if I'm also off, then we'll try yours and see. Okay. Okay. Let's see if I can do any better than uh, the than Walt and Rich here. Center. Center. Outside. Green. Green. 
Low green. Green. Outside. Green. Are you sorry? <laughs> side shot, side shot. That's no fair. I, think I, I think I beat you guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you knew, you knew the routine. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, much better. You know what it is? <laughs> so, here, hold this one. Let me show you. Wait. So, my sight picture, if the two dots were here, so let's say this is one of the dots, I was holding the, uh, the rear sight dot, like above it. So you got so it almost looks like you know two jewels, and then a <laughs> you know two jewels and then two jewels and a member. Yeah, I, I need another hand to do it because I don't I'm have three hands. I'm not touching your jewel. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you got to hold that uh, that rear sight needs to be up above the two circles in the bottom. Oh, oh, oh you know, oh, oh, if okay. you imagine something with two circles. And well, now that we know that, we're not stick. using that gun. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, but yeah, so that's better. It's not the gun, it's the operator. In this case, yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. So check it out. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna actually shoot Rich's, Rich has a 5.7 here, it's the black one. We're gonna shoot that, or let at least Rich and Walter shoot it. I don't think I need to shoot again, because I was just awesome. <laughs> You've shamed us. <laughs> but we'll give Walter a chance, just so that, you know, we got like a fair Walter and I get a chance idea. to redeem ourselves. Plus we got the, the papers there anyway, so might as well shoot the paper. All right, so let me just say, I think when I was talking there, the it's the rare, so the rare are the two the two circles These in the, are the bottom. These two balls he was talking about yeah, there. The two nuts. And that's the thing. So, <laughs> so basically, the way you need to do this, let me see if I can okay. hold it for you, is you need to have your front sight be just up just a little bit, right above those two, like almost making a pyramid. Okay. That's how you need to do it. All right, now we switch guns to Rich Flying Rich's 5.7, FN 5.7. Yeah. I think it's sighted in a little better. Let's find out. Let's see. Oh, you're hot. You're low. Come up a little. So <laughs> you got you got it. You got it. Right we got some shrapnel here. <laughs> you were just and that. the hey, video. The I wish I had a camera right up here, man, because you were putting some. Oh yeah, metal. yeah. You see all so of look the blue right yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. I had. You got you got a few there though, like that. Aiming, That's shrapnel. We, we got a I was yeah. aiming up here. So I had to, I had the front sight, like top, up here. Top of the green. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. Okay, maybe that's your down angle shooting there. So that's why I need a You're a little high. Just a little high. Just come down a little bit. Yeah, you're still you going up. <laughs> you're, you're, you're shots it's on my target now. Over. <laughs> I'm just gonna close my. Eyes. You hit the, the steel in the back. I'm telling you, yeah, he's steel back there. Hanging the steel in the back. I'm not marking that one that's on my target. Uh, yeah, the two. The two that are <laughs> yeah, on your yeah, target. Two. You better take that. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, but you got some good. You, you know what? It's tough down there to see where you're hitting, but up close, you hit it. Yeah. You did better. Yep. What do you think? Yep. Yeah. Yo, definitely better than that one. Yeah, that's <laughs> much better. <laughs> yeah. For sure. You got it's all sight picture. Let's see. I'll try again since we got this. I'll I'll see if I could do it from your with yours. Shooting over the target. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're in your outside. 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 This is. A this one's gonna be. Worse. Yep. No, no bragging on this one. Huh? Yeah. Strange. This is worse. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching. 
Yeah, I don't like Rich's dot. I gotta show it, yeah. but Rich's dot is like blacked out, but I must have cleaned the gun too many times. Yeah, it wasn't as it wasn't as good as that, but I hit I hit there a couple of times. Well, that was that no, this was you. One of these down here was you, right? Or was this you? Yeah, you know, that probably was you. One of those yeah. was in the green. Yeah, one of those was was rich. But mostly everything was going right here. You know, and I know this is like a little off of whatever. There we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah it dive. was a. Uh, I don't either. Neither. It's a different. It's a different hold. Right. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yes. Both of these are more like a Glock, and that's why I think these are probably more. Now, obviously, these are really expensive. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah, so people have been staying away from these. Yeah, we're talking usually around. I mean, these you see like, them on what, sale. 12, 12 to 14. Yeah, yeah. 12 to 14, say, yeah. and and of course 4.99, and then yeah. I would say the Ruger is a five. 555 99 600 depending on yeah where yeah so I, I think i got my ruger in the 600 range 600 the fn i got the blem with 10 mags mm -hmm. for 599 oh well that's a really I mean good the, price the PSA, the, that, the yeah. rock. i'm sorry the rock the rock, yeah. the rock. oh yeah, the rock that, oh, the oh, rock, oh yeah i thought blem, you were saying the f599 okay yeah 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 no they had the, the psa's ran some hellacious blem deals with 10 yeah. mags oh, in yeah. the case and yes. the whole yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so just so we let everyone know the um, I think Rich bought his PSA gun right here. You yep. bought you bought yours fair and square. Yep. Okay. And mine actually came from PSA. So just so everyone knows that, mine's from PSA. They sent it in for us to test. Uh, you got your Ruger from Ruger, I'm assuming. This yep. is your Ruger. Yep. Yeah. Uh, my Ruger came in from Brownells. Big thanks to Brownells for sending in the Ruger. What's the cost of a Ruger? It's like around six. Six and up. It, yeah. it, it depends because that kind of broke just at the beginning of the pandemic. Yeah. So if you got it early, you may have been able to it get a good price. It was under six. And then it went up during the pandemic mm -hmm. like everything did gun-wise. And then you couldn't get them. That's why. For was, a while. Yeah. But things have creeped down some on, the, yeah. on, on these actually yeah. too. So they're back kind of pre-pandemic almost. Yeah. And I would say like it, the obviously FN started the whole 5.7 thing, right? So, you know, we got to give them their credit before folks yeah. out there get mad at us. But I would say that Ruger changed the game, right? Yes. Yeah. Ruger, Ruger was the first one to change the game. Now, mm -hmm. FN now has a metal slide with an optics cut. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. Version. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't um, actually seen oh, one in person. I think I saw, yeah, well, Coleo Noir did a video. Yeah. Or whatever, or yeah, 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 yeah. So they've got a metal version. But I think by Ruger getting into this space, and they've done some cool things. They've got a carbine, all kinds of stuff out right, right. these days. I think they did a good job, especially like bringing that price down. I think Definitely. that happened because FN, did they let go of their patent on the ammo or just expired? Because everyone's making ammo yeah, everybody's, now. Everybody's making the 5.7 now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're making 5.7 because there's more 5.7 guns. I mean, and for the longest time, all it was was this and FN ammo. So yeah. once these guys showed up and then, boom, yeah. these guys showed up, it's like we need it's more. Getting, it's getting good there. Mm -hmm. And let me just say this. I know that um, PSA is going to have some 5.7. That's cool. That's coming. I was talking to my friends at Fort Scott Munitions. They're They've got some 5.7 yeah. coming. We've got uh, what we were shooting was Federal. Yeah, Federal, federal. stuff. And then yeah. I had 5.7 FN. from the old days. Yeah, the old 5.7. seven. So, FN stuff, yeah. Yeah. Ammo prices on this coming down, I think, is a good thing, too. Yeah, a yeah. little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So I actually scored some yeah. recently for 60 mm -hmm. cents a round. Okay, yeah. And, you know, some people out there are going to balk at that, but what would we be looking at, like, in the height 5.7 ammo? Oh, over a buck around. Yeah. Yeah. So that makes it crazy. Now, <laughs> I think, like we said, I think Ruger changed everything. What I really like with what PSA is doing here is these are more in the Glockish realm. So if you're... You know, like if you're sitting on the fence because that. you can't, because yeah. you can't bring, and I've never been able to bring myself to spend twelve hundred dollars for this thing. <laughs> I just haven't been able to. There's been some. There's, I've seen some of these on sale for eight something one time. Oh my god, you should and jump! On I that. didn't do it, but you know, yeah. yeah. But this is completely affordable, and so is this completely affordable and yeah. doable. Because in my world, this is just another cool gun to have. I mean, it's not like something I'm gonna. And you have a lot of options. You, you have a lot of options with uh, with. PSA getting in the game, like you can get a threaded barrel. Oh, and optic right? ready, threaded barrel. Yeah. They're, are they doing different colors yet? I think uh, different I colors, no, not yet, but we're going to see some, some some things coming out because it's them. Um, what about the sights on these? Are these also Glock sights? 
I know on here no, you can that's... use Glock sights. Oh, but, you can? Okay. Yeah, these are Glock sights, that, yeah, that's, for sure. That's a lot bigger than... Is, is this yeah. a Ruger thing? Yeah, I think that's a Ruger thing. It's dovetail front and yeah. back, so that's not Glock. PSA, so, listen up here. See this color scheme? I like it. Yeah, definitely do that, yeah. That right I don't know there. if I said it. Mine, my FN came from Brownells. Uh, you did you get a deal on that one? No, I got it at a gun show. Uh, gun show, okay. When it came down to twelve hundred bucks, when everybody else was paying thirteen hundred, I got yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, there's still what's the what's the new metal ones going for? Uh, the MRDs have priced them. Oh, okay. They're probably going to be a little bit more than that. I'm going to guess. We'll see. I'll run it in when I'm doing yeah. all of this. So yeah. I think you know. Uh, let's talk about like aesthetics and everything in terms of what we like here to me i have like an affinity for these man i always found the fm57 just cool this looks like my scar yeah yep, it my, does my scar like 16 it. not matching you know people all freak out about fn oh sure <laughs> oh it doesn't match it's like what's well, not supposed to right. so <laughs> but anyways yeah it looks like my scar i think they so. look good you guys oh, think, no i like yeah. this i like this yeah so. i think they've got that like classic fn look if you're thinking you know I don't know if it's kind of like a hoity-toity kind of upper scale it's, thing, FN having FN. Well, it, it's kind of the 90s. I mean, it's mm -hmm. that 90s look, mm -hmm. that 90s vintage firearm, which is cool. But yeah. I think Ruger really changed it mm -hmm. with all of the machining mm -hmm. on the slide. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <coughs> yeah, and, oh, okay, they got pick rail here. Did yeah, that's true. You can do, you can, oh, you yeah, can put all this, red yeah, dot on yeah. here pretty easily. Get your place for your Yeah, uh, it's kind of like, man. yeah, you know. You're right. I think I'll, I'll take what you say there. So hammer yeah. fire and striker fire. Correct. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yep. We're not really seeing um, any of that yet. I'm guessing at some point um, PSA will do something that's red dot. You know, well, no, actually, this is red dot. You got the red dot slide on yours. So yep. we already have yeah, that. Yeah, optics cut. Yeah. Optics cut, red optics barrel, cut. Yeah. blem, 599. Could you find a blem on it? No. I mean, I I saw Wait, something yours here. Is, this is yours? No, this is yours. Oh, OK. But let's see. So let's this see. is kind of weird how it comes off. The slide. Let's see. Yeah. It it just goes forward enough. So yeah, you don't. It's not like a Glock where you slide yeah. it on. You put it on and then boom, it's okay. off. Okay. Do you have to have that? Yeah. So mag out. And you got to pull this down and slide it just a wee bit forward. Yeah. And then there it, you go. Easy. Oh. So, yeah. but putting it on is a trick. You got to look where the relief is, and for the rail, and then, then it's on. Yeah. Um. What are you thinking, Walt? Where's the hammer? Or is it a hammer in a different? No, it's a striker. Oh, that's the PSA. Yeah. Correct, yeah, the correct, PSA correct. striker. Yeah, you've okay. got. You don't have the Ruger in your yeah. hands. How about the Ruger? Easy to take down? Uh, not as easy. So it's got this oh, lever. Oh, I like that. So I just make clear. Yeah, we're clear. Like that. Okay. Go ahead. So right you there. gotta pull this down and back. So uh, I think you gotta lock the slide back. Mm -hmm. I haven't done this in a while, and it. You might even need a tool to. Yeah, get I haven't it. even so that, looked into. Okay, so that's got to turn. So this is going mm -hmm. almost like a sig. Yeah. Do you have to turn? You have to turn that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so let's lock it back, and we push with a round. Dang. Come on, use some strength. Oh, there you yeah, go. Yeah, there it goes. Wow. There. Yeah. So then you could get that out. So oh, it's easy oh, enough wow. if you know. Yeah, yeah. It's, okay. it, is a, it is. Where's, that, where's that hammer at? There you go. Oh, right there. There's a little hammer. Oh, isn't that cute? Look at that. You know, I found that like shooting the both of them, I, I think they're really. People say they're very close and they're exactly the same. Um, I'm gonna say that they kind of do shoot like they're the same, but they don't uh, feel the same to me. Obviously, they don't function the same. We'll let Rich struggle with that, yeah. trying to figure out how it's to put that back together. Um. <laughs> Better yeah, than you me. gotta have it back. <laughs> Let's That's why I didn't volunteer. I'll pick it up, all right. Then you gotta push it all the way in. There you go. There it Boom. Is. Yeah, right. so they're functionally, they're really different. And like you said, man, I think this does, like the machining of this is a little bit more complex. And if you want more of a race looking gun, that's what you have in this. For me, just aesthetically, I like the simplicity of rock, personally. That's just my, that, you know, that just looks, feels simple and just works and does what it's supposed to do, fits in my hand and all that, you know? So, if, me personally, I'm just gonna start with me. If I had to, if I could only have one of these three guns sitting here, you know, uh, you guys are And you have to this. buy it? <laughs> yeah, and I have to buy it. I'm probably, I'm going to probably buy the FN. Just because, you know, I mean, uh, no. No. 
I'm not going to bleed Who's my paying own for blood. It when you buy it. <laughs> no, the easiest one to buy is definitely the rock. Right? So if you put that caveat of I've got to pay oh. for just one out of my own pockets. Yes, it would be that, you know. I would say definitely the rock is a, a good addition to this, but I think that there are people who like the aesthetics of how this look better, and these are bo both in the affordable category, whereas this is not necessarily so affordable, but I love these for the nostalgia. You know what's another thing now looking at it that I really like about this? No safety. Oh yeah, and this I is really the, like the, that. the pedal thing. On yeah, it. no safety on that, but definitely the, uh, the, the Ruger has a safety on it right there, you know? And yeah, uh, so is, does the is, FN. This is very clean. There's no stuff sticking out the side. If you guys had to buy, because Walter put in that caveat, you had to buy one of these guns with your own money, which you did anyway, Rich. I bought all of them with my own money. But okay, if you had to go back and just buy one, which one are you buying? Huh, I, I'll tell you what, I like the look of the Ruger. Okay. I do like That's that fair. look. Yeah. I like the cut and the slide, I, I like how that is. Now, it's a more sophisticated look. Yeah. 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 It, I would agree with that. It, yeah. And I hate to say, I based on guns I own, I must be a Ruger fanboy. Although, do you so you don't like the rock? Would you No, no, would I you like give the away rock. Your rock no, or? I'm not No, I'm I'm just would five, you sell seven it? nut job. No. No. no You're a five, 5 7, seven nut job. Yeah. But I do like you said, I don't like mm -hmm. safeties on a gun. I like the rock because it has no safety. It's a, it's a little less busy look. Yeah. Yes. But also, I'll tell you what I like about the rock is boom, like that. It and, was easy. And yeah. the slide just. You did it without even off. thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's easy. Yeah. Well, I mean, and for those easier. folks that like to carry things like this, this is clean. Ah, good point. It's very clean. I mean, yeah. this has more bumps and bobbles, and this has more it's bumps like and bobbles, too. It's anti stand system. Right. <laughs> yeah, so I like yeah. this. I like the feel of this. Like I said, it reminds me of the dagger, and I really like the right. dagger frame. So. so you would, if you had to buy just one of these, Walt? This. This would work. Yeah. Maybe get it like with a threaded burl. Uh, whether I get it set up for optic, I'm not a huge optic fan because you can't stuff. It's kind of hard to stuff that in your pocket with yep. that optic on it. So. But when um, we were shooting, you did all right shooting yeah. the, the red dot. Yeah, you, you were, just have to get used to it. Yeah, I think the worst part for both of you guys shooting it, and Rich, you know, you've had this gun for a while, but I don't know if you've shot it that much. But really, that sight picture was the toughest thing on the FN. You know, just to wrap this up so we could eat, because I know Lola's here with some food and these guys want to eat. I would say that, listen, you... To me, personally, you can't go wrong with the FN. I think the big problem with it is what it costs. But I think it's a great gun that these guys developed and just now really did something with it because everyone else is getting yep. back in the space. Competition is good. Yeah, so that competition thing I think is great, and I'd love to see what... You can't go wrong with that. If you're a 5.7 guy, I think Rich would agree with me. He's a 5.7 guy. I'm a 5.7 guy. It's like happy days to see sure. more five seven. I don't know if you care, Walt. Do you do you like the five seven round? Do you care? It's cool, but oh, okay. So why you know, it, it's still expensive yeah. for just blasting. Yeah, it's still kind of <laughs> pricey. So um, yeah, you know. Yeah, we. I think I was even counting a little bit. The, Basically, every 40, time around with little boxes, is forty forty five dollars. Yeah, and that's you know. But with everyone getting in this space, it's going to get better. So personally, I think the Ruger is, is a good gun. Works. We didn't really have any issues with it. Uh -huh. The Rock is a good gun. The FN is a good gun. Get all of them if you oh, can. Yeah, nothing wrong with them. Buy yeah. all three. Yeah, buy all three. If you can't, you got good choices with the uh, with the Ruger and um, and the the PSA. And we did shoot some other FN stuff here. Yep. You know, um, I would say this. There's a whole bunch of different FN guns that we don't have. So you've got, I think, CMMG has mm -hmm. a FN you mean, carbine. You mean 5.7 guns we don't have? I'm yet. sorry, yes. Uh, there's, there's a whole bunch of 5.7 uh, guns right. that we don't have. Yeah. CMMG. CMMG has one that uses these magazines. Yes, uses the FN magazine. You were shooting with the PS90 magazine in a gun, in an AR style. That didn't work that great. Yeah, that's the yeah. AR 5.7. The got... CMMG works great okay. using but a regular magazine. These mags. Yes, CMMG. and kel -Tec. Yep, that we just P50, mentioned. P50. P50. Mm -hmm. When they came out, they were kind of expensive. I see they're like 700 bucks now. So, it's, and it's kind of, but that uses that P90 mag. P90 mag, and yeah. it feeds upward. Yeah. So we don't know about that either. We would have to get our hands on that to see how it is. But good to see that. So, uh, we're gonna end all of this here. If you, you know, if you want to know more about Flying Rich, he's got a lot of good stuff on YouTube. He does a lot of 3D printing stuff on the Flying Rich. Walter is over at Safety Harbor Firearms and stemparts.com. 
and uh, you know big thanks to you guys hanging out here with us leave your comments let us know do you agree disagree are we all idiots? Are we dumb? We stupid? Yeah. <laughs> we'll take it all. It all it all works for me. Good. Just leave a comment. That's yeah. All. Yeah. All right, guys. See you on the next one. We're out. Peace. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.